So what has happened is that we now have something like uh, uh, 40,000 acres of shrimp farms in Ecuador, all using EM, with quite a good success. Shrimps, which are very healthy and fast growing. And now we can have the next slide, and you will find that they're not just fast growing, they are actually higher yielding, much more productive. And this is what happened in Ecuador. The first three bars were bars which were uh, uh, before the EM, and then the next bars were bars after EM was applied. So you can see they were almost double. And then it's been applied in Colombia and in Ecuador also to manage municipal garbage and farm wastes and all for soil amendments. And we can see that several of them we have now used for uh, flower production in Colombia. This is, these are uh, flower wastes. You can have the next one. And you can see these are carnations. So the carnations look healthier and now you can really have carnations which you can smell without having to worry that you're smelling some, some uh, pesticides. <laughs> this is something that is interesting because uh, there is a river in Bogota, which is Tofuerito, and um, it is near a military base, and the military had problems with foul odor. There is also a small community, and the small community complained to the military. So the military did something. It invited the uh, group uh, using the EM technology in Colombia, which is a university also called the Minuto de Dios University. It's a university uh, sponsored by the Catholic Church and uh, it is using the AM technology and did work on this river. In two months, the foul odor was gone as well. Another story about foul odors. <laughs> Next one. And uh, you can see how the water started and then the next one you will see where uh, the treatments were done and you will find that uh, the EM was being activated that's the term we knew really uh, multiply the EM from a latent state to a very active state and that's what you call activated and then we made balls, clay balls and the clay balls were for the children to throw into the waters <laughs> These are the clay balls. You dry this up, and they are uh, the the microorganisms are inside, and then it's thrown down so that they sink. And when they sink, that's where they start activating. Next one. So this river was clean, and uh, so the military had good publicity because that was <laughs> it's a big problem for the military. If the military is not able to do that, then what else in Colombia will? will come about, the FARC will come in. The, these are the rebels. 